session on day four of the swimming competition. And look at this for a lineup Buckley, Uo, Vanzeko, Dubrov, Kripak, Vanderfurt, Paul, and Tikastik. Paul is already a champion, a gold medal in the 100 breaststroke SB9. Two goals for Kripak, 50 and, uh, 53 and 100 back. And indeed, Dubrov. The European champion, the world champion, the world record holder goes in lane four. And a legend in lane two. This is an incredible race with an incredible eight competitors in the final. 31 year old Sven de Kastecker of Belgium goes in lane eight. Swimming from the outside lane after his 216-16 snuck him into the last eight. Isaac Buckley of Canada, one of two Canadians in the pool. He'll swim alongside his compatriot going in lane one, though, is Isaac Buckley. South Africa's Kevin Paul, the 25-year-old champion in the 100 breaststroke SB9, a multiple Paralympic gold medalist. If you talk about multiple Paralympic medals and multiple champions, it doesn't get much better than Benoit Ward, the 32-year-old, a 19 times medalist, a nine-time Paralympic champion. He will have looked at his splits. He'll have known what he needs to do in the final. Goes in two. Willefeer van der Voort of the Netherlands, the 18-year-old, and the Dutch support, the Dutch army, clad in orange, applauding as he enters. Going in lane six. Ukraine's 20 year old Dmitro Vanzenko from Dnipropetrovsk in Ukraine. Bronze of the World Championships goes in lane three. The second of the Ukrainian trio that go in the center lanes, Maxim Kripak, a 21 year old two time champion at Rio 16 already, Rio 2016 already. Goes in five, but the man to beat is 27-year-old Denis Dubrov. He was sticking his hand up, putting his arm up for Olympic qualification and reckoning when he was the Ukrainian national record holder and swimming at 204 over this distance. But now competing in IPC classifications, Denis Dubrov is the Paralympic record holder, the world record holder, the European champion, the world champion, and now looks to become, for the first time at his maiden Paralympic Games, a Paralympic champion. Silver in the 100 breast, bronze in the 50 free, and in the 4x50 mixed relay. He's already picked up three medals. But this is a battle deluxe. Benoit Wu on the podium at the last four Paralympic Games. Sydney, Athens, Beijing and London. And followed up his victory in London with a World Championship title in 2013. Getting away very quickly, going in lane five was Kripak and Kevin Paul of South Africa exploding off the blocks. As Denis Dubrov though comes into his stroke is alongside Kripak. They are both very strong freestylers. They are both very strong fly strokers, and they're showing it with explosive starts here. These are two swimmers who are taking it to the rest of the field. Vanziko Uo and Paul van der Voort all being left behind by Dubrov and Kripak. They are taking it out very hard indeed. Well, Kripak first into the wall, but not such a strong underwater phase, and Dubrov already catching up on this backstroke leg now. Dubrov the favorite in this event coming alongside Kripak. What can Kripak react with? The rest of the field are gonna have to battle it for the bronze medal, it looks at this stage. As now, Maxime Kripak starts to take control of the race on the backstroke leg, but we'll see a huge change on the breaststroke, no doubt. Well, his strongest stroke, arguably, is the uh, backstroke, although he's a very strong freestyler, but the breaststroke is Denis Dubrov's. And indeed, Denis Dubrov is looking to make up some serious ground on uh, Kripak in this cross, in this uh, breaststroke. But Dubrov, who swims for Invasport in Dinoprovsk, says it's his aim, quite simply, to win as many medals as he possibly can. And there'll be a good team ethic between the Ukrainian swimmers, all three who go in this race, Dubrov, Kripak, and Vanziko. But Benoit Uo 
going in lane two is looking good for the bronze battling with Fonseca but Ur has described Dubrov as being closer to Michael Phelps in this race than he is in fact to Dubrov having had his world record smashed by Dubrov at the World Championships last year and indeed Dubrov is not disappointing he has opened up a very impressive lead and look to bring this home but now closing on Kripak is Fonseca and Uo. Uo is out of the medal contention at the moment and it looks to be a trio of Ukrainian swimmers. Look how far ahead he is of his own world record. This is going to be an impressive swim and a new world record for the existing world record holder. It's gold, silver and bronze for the Ukraine. Dubrov ahead of Kripak, ahead of Fonseca. Canada's Benoit Uo misses out on claiming his 20th Paralympic medal. But what a swim from Denis Dubrov. Again, world record time for Dubrov. His race to lose, and he follows up his two bronze medals and a silver in the 53, 4x50 mixed relay, and indeed 100 breast with a gold in his favorite event, the men's 200 individual medley. And another illustration, another demonstration of the team ethic, the team spirit that we've seen throughout this competition from Ukraine they are delighted for one another as Ukraine have a clean sweep in the men's 200 IM what wonderful sights these are at the Olympic Aquatic Stadium the men's 200 meter individual medley dominated by Ukraine they see themselves move up that medal table what a result that was and just an incredible swim as well the breaststroke leg really did change everything we knew Dubrov was good on the breaststroke we didn't quite know how much he would manage to turn the race around on that 150 meters it was a strong final 50 for Kripak to come and get the silver but an incredible swim as well by Venchenko you mustn't forget him he wasn't quite in medal contention for much of that race and took the bronze making it a one two three for ukraine well when he was in olympic contention as the national record holder for ukraine he was swimming 204s but as a paralympic swimmer a 206.87 it's astounding just how fast he is swimming at the moment denis dubrov a new world record he's championing in the paralympic games as well